Good morning. It's been a while since I've done a nightgown chat video, but it seems like the only time that I have to myself is times where I'm in my nightgown. So I apologize for not posting a video. Last week, um, I'm reporting my way in from, not this past Tuesday, but from the Tuesday before. It's like a week ago. So I was down 2.2, which is awesome. So my grand total is 10.8. And then we had company in town and I had some pretty stressful things um, that I was trying to figure out a solution for. And so I did not have a great week this past week. And on my scale, when I weighed in, I had gained those two pounds back. So because it wasn't an official weigh-in, we'll wait until I get to Weight Watchers to see what the, the grand total is. But um, now that I'm back to my routine, so far things are going really well and I'm hopeful that whatever weight I gained during that last week will be gone. Yeah, so I wasn't able to go to my meeting. We had company in town and it was my son's birthday. So it just didn't happen, but um, I'm really loving the handouts, like the stress eating, the goal setting, and it's already helped me a lot. Um, I had to cut some things out that I was doing. I was uh, helping a friend out who was in need of um, babysitting and um, I was just volunteering to do that and it was a regular thing and I realized that it was just taking time away from me being able to be the kind of stay-at-home mom that I chose to be and that I want to be and it was really hard for me to say I'm not gonna babysit anymore because I felt so guilty like I was letting this person down and you know, what's she gonna do if I'm not helping out? But it was it was becoming overwhelming because I already have so much to do as a stay-at-home mom and I have a part-time job and I have, you know, lots of responsibilities. And so I'm really proud of myself um, because man, that, that was a really hard decision to make, but I knew that it was what was best for me and being able to reach my goals and not be overly stressed because when I start getting stressed out, feeling overwhelmed, I binge. And I had, I I have, I've, I've noticed like how terrible I look. Um, no, but I have continued to struggle with binge eating over this whole situation. And um, I just, I, I don't do well when I'm super stressed. So I took care of myself and my needs and I cut some of that stress out. And that, that was really big for me and um yeah so that happened i've been to the ymca uh three times already this week i've been setting some goals um, my friend and i want to do like a 5k and the ymca is offering a sprint triathlon which i've always wanted to do i have done one but i teamed up with my friend and so she did the running and i did the bike and the swim and it's in April and it's in a month and I can already jog a mile without stopping, but um, I'm thinking about entering it. <laughs> so I've been at the YMCA. I have to be really careful with my hip and uh, pelvis issues. And so I don't know if it's, I'm just, I'm approaching it from like, I just can't go past a certain threshold when I'm exercising and we'll just, we'll just see if it's something that I feel up to doing. But. I love that we talked about goal setting. So, uh, so far it's been a great week. Um, I'm looking forward to my weigh in next Tuesday. I hope all of you guys are doing well. And if you're new here, welcome. Leave a comment down below if you have a channel so I can go back and subscribe to you. And have a great rest of your day, bye.